just a touch, I cannot stress this enough, just a touch of oil. Hey goodies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Amani. I have sister locks and my channel's on sister locks, beauty, lifestyle, basically anything that I want it to be about. <laughs> so thanks for coming to my corner of YouTube. But without further ado, I'm gonna get right into my three secrets for how I keep my curls for as long as possible. I managed to keep this set of curls in for a little over two weeks. So as you can see from the images and the videos that I'm showing right now, um, this is day one and the early stages. And then you see as the days go by, they start to fall and that's completely normal. And this is what it looks like at the end of my 16 days of practicing how I keep my long lasting curls. And the curls that I have in this example are pipe cleaner curls. And if you wanna know how to do that yourself, I will link the link to my pipe cleaner curl tutorial um, in the description box below, but it's also be somewhere up here. Um, but essentially here are my three really easy tips. The first tip is to wear a bonnet to bed, preferably a very loose bonnet. And the second tip is keep your hair away from any unnecessary moisture. And then the last one is just rejuvenate your curls with a touch, like a drop, like a drop of oil when you need it. Okay, so I'm gonna get into more detail about those three steps. Um, the first one is pretty self-explanatory. Something that I do is I wear a super jumbo bonnet even though my hair is no longer down to my butt. People usually ask me where I get these bonnets from. I get them from beauty supply stores, but Google super jumbo bonnet. It's the biggest size bonnet that you can possibly get. You look like a mushroom. The reason why I recommend a super jumbo bonnet or a jumbo bonnet if you have medium to short length hair is because when you wear a bonnet that's really just holds all of your hair it's a little too tight and what that does is it condenses your curls more and reshapes them whereas when you have it looser in a looser bonnet your hair is able to breathe but also you are not flattening your curls out as much which increases the longevity of your curls the second tip is a two-fold tip which is keep your hair away from unnecessary moisture. So the first part you're gonna wanna do is whenever you take a shower, you always, always, always want to wear a shower cap. And before you put your hair into the shower cap, if your hair is long enough, put it up into a very loose ponytail or loose bun just to get those curls off of your neck, away from the moisture and the humidity that happens when you shower and that way you're keeping your curls nice and dry and i have a really big shower cap similar to my really big bonnet if i can find a link i will put that in the description box below as well i got it many years ago and then the second part is whenever you work out if you're one of those people who like to get your gains and your sweat on i commend you but make sure that you keep your hair off of your neck the same way that you do when you're in the shower. So put your hair up into a loose bun like this or two loose buns like this, or if your hair is like short enough to be able to put your hair up into a ponytail without it being anywhere near your neck, do that. But you're keeping your hair away from your perspiration, which will dampen your curls, which will ultimately make them fall a lot quicker than they would have if you kept them dry. And the third and final step is rejuvenate your curls with just a touch, I cannot stress this enough, just a touch of oil. And this step is also twofold. When you're installing your curls, a lot of people tend to put way too much product in their hair when a little bit goes a long way. So for example, for me, I like to make sure that my hair is clean so that all the products that I had in my hair like a week ago aren't there anymore. It's a clean canvas. So I wash my hair and then I wait till it's damp and then once it's damp, I'll put just maybe a quarter size amount of oil, run that through my hair. And then if I'm feeling snazzy or it's like winter and I need the extra moisture, I'll put in like a moisturizing hair lotion. Again, maybe a quarter size or two quarter size amount for my hair. And my hair right now is a little bit longer than armpit length. And what that does is it doesn't weigh your hair down initially when your hair is beginning to curl. And it allows you to have like bouncier curls from the get go and also have your hair moisturized so that you don't have to rejuvenate your curls later on. In order to 
you know, keep your hair nice and bouncy. When your hair starts feeling, I guess I would say rough, or crunchy, your locks tend to feel a little bit rougher when they're less moisturized. So you know your hair better than anyone else. Once it starts getting to that point, just put like a dime size amount or two in your hands and then run your hands through your hair, flip your head over to get it moving, get it nice and bouncy and gently comb out your curls with your fingers. And I tend to do this when I need to rejuvenate it in the morning. And I'll do the same routine when I wanna make my curls a lot fuller after I slept on them, just without the oil when there's no need for extra oil and moisturizing. All right, so yeah, like that was a pretty quick video, but it's really, really simple. Anybody can do it. And this really has over the years kept my locks curly for as long as possible. And that's even when my hair was super duper long. And that's why I was able to make my curls a lot bouncier and fuller in the beginning. And then they just fall naturally. Um, but if you like this video, I hope it was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what else you want to see and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. I would like to see you <laughs> again. As always, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Bye, goodies. <laughs>